Hey, hey, welcome to Cluekeeper. So we are a platform for making and playing in clue hunts. Uh, you can play in the clue hunts from an Android or iOS app, and you create the clue hunt from our website. Goal of this video is just to keep it kind of short, give you an overview, and try to get you to answer three questions, right? So first off, what is a clue hunt? You know, you probably already know what a clue hunt is, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, what is the Clue Keeper platform all about? Uh, and how might you fit in? So first up, what is a clue hunt? Well, what a clue hunt might be, I'm going to give you a couple of different examples, is it might just be a location-specific activity, right? So maybe it's just as simple as, you know, we give you a picture, we say, hey, find this like insect stamp on the wall of the museum. Um, tell me in what years was this stamp used, right? So one of the big things about Clue Keeper is we try to make it very real world. So it's not just like puzzles that you can solve on your app. There are, there are a couple like that. Um, but it's actually getting you out somewhere to solve this clue that has some type of solution. You know, maybe in a different clue hunt, uh, they just wanted you to see this really cool bell, right? Um, so the clue is like, you know, what's the third letter from the fifth line and then the second letter from the first line? And that has a solution and that takes you to some other interesting location. The background of these clue hunts is with what I would call a puzzle hunt. These puzzle hunts, there's a lot of different people that have been making these. There's a lot of different groups over the U.S. and, and throughout the world that make these. But it's a very, like, cryptic puzzle. Like, it could be something crazy. Um, so here's, like, some examples of, like, pool balls that you have to figure out, hey, what does this mean? Um, how does this get me to a solution? These are typically played by teams of, like, four to six people. Uh, this is where Clue Keeper's background has always been. We, we love these puzzle hunts. People that work at Clue Keeper have been doing these things for so long, it's crazy. Um, there's a lot of different companies and organizations that make them, and there's a lot of people that play in them, and I have no idea why, but I love them as well. They're just so much fun to play in these puzzle hunts, right? And that's obviously one thing that you can use Clue Keeper for. It's what, it's what almost everybody is using it for, but there are other things you could do with it for a more generic Clue Hunt. So, for example, let's say you're just making a scavenger hunt where you have to find like a physical thing or a photo hunt where you have to get a picture of yourself doing something um, or just a photo of something interesting. You know, there are ways that you could use Clue Keeper for that. Um, also, the way that I've always used Clue Keeper, so I make a lot of puzzle hunts for, for our college, and I really just want people to see our college, right? So I want them to go do different things. But it's kind of boring to just say, hey, go here, go here, go here. So I kind of, I frame it in pretty simple clues, right? So I have like clues at different places. And really the goal is to get these high school students to see our campus and really like understand who we are. Um, here's another, like what I would call guided tour uh, that was at Disney World. And really those are more about the place uh, than like the puzzle, right? And that's definitely something that you could do with Clue Keeper. Really, though, I should ask you, what is a clue hunt in your mind? Because a clue hunt could be a lot of things. Uh, it could be a promotional tool. It could be something you're using for team building or, like, networking. Uh, I mean, TV show. I mean, you name it. There's a lot of different ways you can make something that's a clue. It could be an activity or a puzzle. has a solution, and then it kind of moves on in the hunt. So that's really what I would call a clue hunt. Next up, what is Clue Keeper all about? The idea of Clue Keeper is that we try to provide you with the tools so that you can make a better clue hunt for your player, right? So we're a platform and we're we're a bunch of hunt designers too, right? Like, I mean, officially Clue Keeper doesn't make any hunts. We just make a platform for you to make hunts. But everybody that works on the team has been making hunts for a lot of years, right? And we kind of see, hey, what are what are players finding fun? What are some tools that we can give you that can make your events flow better? So some of the like core features that we give you is, is most of our hunts start with an interesting location, like you go somewhere in the world, um, and there's actually like clue start information, like before the clue really starts, like maybe we're helping you get to that location, or maybe we're telling you where that location's at. And then sometimes you have to like start the puzzle with another answer, like hey, start the puzzle by typing in this. And then we can provide with clue content. That content might be in the app, it might be in the physical world, it might be a sheet of paper that's handed to you by somebody that's there. Um, and then what Clue Keeper can do, once somebody's working on the puzzle, we can help you out with like the release of hints. So if somebody's been working on the same thing for like an hour, you don't want them just beating their head against the wall. You want to give them information, right? And Clue Keeper makes a really easy way for you to do that. So you can have hints that are free after a certain amount of time, or you can like buy hints and things like that. We can also help with partial solutions. If somebody's like along the right track, you can give them that feedback. It's very scalable. It's very uniform. 
And then when we get the solution, we can confirm that it's correct. Uh, and then we can tell them where to go next. And the cycle begins, you know, all over again. It seems like really like simple core features, but if you've ever run a puzzle hunt, um, these, these things are really hard to do with like a pencil and paper, right? And it really software fixes it. And we're giving you the tools that you can use to make your hunt better. You don't have to be a software developer. You can just use the tools that we've made for you. We also have a lot of other fun features. I'm going to tell you about just a couple. Uh, one of them that I think is really fun is we've partnered with a company called Zapper. Uh, what Zapper does is Zapper gives you augmented reality support. So you can point your, you know, your mobile device at something and you can see what's there, but then you can actually like add things to that environment. Uh, so here it's like pointing at a receipt, but you can see there's actually more stuff happening on the phone. And you can go visit their website and learn a lot more about Zapper. But just to kind of like get you thinking like, Maybe this bug puzzle that we mentioned, instead of just finding the bug and pointing at it, you know, maybe you could, when you point at the, the wall of stamp insects, they could like start moving, right? Maybe the, the animals could like walk a letter and you could like have that be the solution to the clue. Or, or maybe like with the bell, like it could be like an overlay of a, a video of somebody like ringing the bell or something fun like that. And then like maybe it's Morse code, who knows, right? Uh, but there's a lot of interesting things you could do with Zapper. Um, and I think that's a feature where you can really add value for your players. And that's something we provide for you with the tool. We also add a lot of features for like scoring and leaderboards. So you can go see the leaderboard to see how you did. Competition can actually be really fun. Like it can give you like a purpose for like trying to do this thing. Um, because otherwise you're like, why am I doing this? And, and competition can actually be fun sometimes. And we give you like different scoring systems you can use as a hunt creator. We provide a way to make hints like free, time released, or charge points if you would like. Um, and there's a lot of interesting like competitive things we can add. You can also turn all the competitive things off if you don't care about having a leaderboard at all. That's totally fine with us. We also have a lot of features for real world integration. Uh, let's say you had a, a clue that was available on Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, this is kind of a picture of the back end where you, you mark that spot on the map. And then you can tell your players, you know, hey, I'll just make a button that says take me there and it'll launch navigation support. Most people are using their smartphone to figure out how to drive places anyway. Um, and with the Clue Keeper app, you can just say, hey, take me there. And if that's not your, your clue to like for where to go, we can just get them there in an easy way. We can also confirm that people are at places, right? So if you say, hey, this clue doesn't unlock unless you're standing in the middle of the football field, you know, we can check the GPS of that device and we can make that a feature for your clue. And there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, I won't go into all the different features we do, but I mean, there's, there's just a ton of things. Like if one team member answers an answer, you know, everybody sees that that answer has been entered. Or if you, you want to close down a location and skip teams over it at a certain time, you know, we provide features for that too. Like I said, we're hunt designers. We're, we're trying to think of these tools that you want to try to make better experiences. So that kind of brings us to the last question of how might you fit in uh, with this? So one way you might fit in is, is as a player, right? You know, we need players to play these hunts. It's a lot of fun to be a player. Being a player is really easy. You download the app, uh, your Android or iOS device. There are two different ways that you can play. Uh, you can play in someone else's hosted hunt. Uh, if that's the case, they'll give you a six digit code. That six digit code will let you actually download their hunt. Uh, so ClueKeeper doesn't make the hunt. It's just like an app that you've downloaded. You've downloaded that, that person's hunt. Um, and you can play in the event. For a hosted hunt, you would have to find somebody that's like running an event, like a dash or something like that. The other thing you can do is we've actually got like an area of what we call self-guided hunts. So if you want to like play in a hunt this Saturday, not like a hosted hunt that's happening in three months, but like what hunts could I play right now in San Francisco, uh, you can come into the app and you can actually purchase uh, one of these self-guided hunts. And it's very on demand and it's another distribution channel if you want to play in hunts. In addition to being a player, you can also be a creator. Uh, as a creator, there are two types of hunts you can build. Uh, that's probably really surprising to you. You can make hosted hunts. And hosted hunts could be for like big groups, right? So you, know, you could run a hosted hunt, you could advertise, and you could have people like play in your event. They could also be like small things. Let's say your family Christmas, you just want to have a little puzzle hunt, right? That's totally doable. That's another hosted hunt. Hosted hunts the only people that know about them are the people that you give the, the hunt codes to, and those are the only people that are playing it. We've got a lot of partners who work with us. I thought I'd just, just show some of their logos. We're really excited about the people that we have making puzzle hunts with us. 
So the question of how might you fit in, it really comes down to player, creator, or both. I'm hoping you'll choose both uh, because I find that just a, a ton of fun to start making these things. Really though, I want you to do whatever you find fun, right? So if you find it fun to, to play in these things, that's great, look around for them. If you find it fun to create them, you know, do that. So where do I go from here? Uh, what are the next steps in getting involved with ClueKeeper? Uh, first I'd say look around our website some, you know, look at some of the different pages. We've put a lot of thought into the info that's up there. So just go through and read some things. If you're interested in being a creator, there are also a few more creator tutorial series. Uh, so you can go over to the tutorials page. Uh, you can watch um, Simple Hosted Hunt uh, and also Self-Guided Hunts. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff up there. If you want to be a player, just click on Find Hunts. See if you can find some hunts around you. Maybe it's a hosted hunt, an event you can play in, or one you can download and just play right now. It really is a lot of fun to play in these hunts, so hopefully you're getting out there and enjoying it. All right, that's all I got. Hopefully you know a lot more about Clue Keeper.